hundreds of train wheels over the railhead every day to get people uh, and freight around the country causes small defects in the railhead and it wears it much like a hammer hitting the head of a nail. We have two options, we can replace the rail or we can repair it. To replace the rail we would need lots of bodies in the worksite, lots of rail, it's very disruptive, it takes a long time and it's extremely expensive. A machine like the rail miller can come in, it can carry out repair works in a fraction of the time and about 20% of the cost. What the rail miller does is it has four cutting heads. They're large wheels with hundreds of cutting tips on them. Those cutting tips spin and each time they pass the rail they shave a small piece of the rail off. By doing that at a very slow speed along the rail they shave consistently all of the defects out of the rail as it passes. As the milling train comes through there are three elements to it. There are two cutting heads at the front, one makes the first cut, then there's a second cut and the third and final stage of the machine is a polishing head which comes through almost like a large sanding wheel and polishes the running band to ensure there's a smooth surface for the trains that will come through later today. So over the next five years Network Rail must save in the region of £3.5 billion. There are thousands of initiatives all looking at efficiency and delivering a better service for the public and our passengers. Rail milling is one of those small cogs in that efficiency portfolio. In the next five years we hope rail milling will save up to £80 million of that £3.5 billion. So when the milling train comes to work, it removes the top surface of the track, which is where most of the problems are, leaving the better rail underneath for a smoother ride for the trains. The train uses cutting teeth to mill the track. These are a spare set and we swap them over as and when we need to, to keep the train working effectively. In the piece of work we've done tonight, we would be looking in the region of about £100,000 to replace the rail. We've done it tonight for approximately 20 to 25% of that cost. So over the next five years, this particular rail miller will carry out between 180 and 230 shifts like this every year.